Hello, it's Rod with Pilgrim's Journey. <laughs> All right, as you can see, I'm soaking wet. I'm covered in gel coat uh, from um, starting to, over the last few weeks, I've been sanding the, the tops of the decks and getting all of the old factory non-skid off. I'm kind of hiding here under the boat for a second. Um, I've tarped off the top of the boat and we'll kind of walk this way and I don't know how dark it's going to get under here. It's like high noon and like feels about like 100 degrees. All right, so um, so we can see as I walk forward here, you can see I've tarped the top of the boat so that um, we can, you know, you know, keep the top decks dry so I can get some primer on it get all the old non-skid off and then we'll start you know priming uh, we'll put the Alex seal top coat on and then we'll start doing the non-skid so um, I'll show you real quick what we're doing with the non-skid hang on okay this is going to be a little bit hard to see but if you can look here you can see all the tread pattern of the non-skid and that kind of goes I've only got a couple little sections to finish and here's what it looks like Kind of once I've ground it off, hold on. This one might, you can see it's, uh, I've left a little bit of the lines so that um, we can work all this out. And here, right now I'm sanding all in the cockpit. I'm getting the benches, everything up top. Um, right now I'm sanding this little section of the bench and I don't know if we can work our way forward under the tarp. It is like 100 degrees here, so. Uh, so you can see I've taken all of this on the top decks, taken all the non-skid off, and so here we go. We're going forward here. You can see I've left it. So you can tell where the non-skid was. Ooh, almost fell. So, so this is all getting all of this off. These hatches, I got to pull the hatches out, and I've got to pull all of these windows off, so we can start sanding up underneath that low tuck. Tuck's over here keeping me nice and you know good company. Um, but don't know how much we can see there. Um. All right, so I apologize for the darkness, um, but we had to tarp the top of the boat because we're getting a lot of afternoon thunderstorms. I'm starting to pull hatches out. We've got a lot of holes exposed where we're pulling hardware off the top of the boat. And it's just me by myself. So this is going kind of slow in the heat. The heat's kicking my butt a little bit. I mean, we've had a heat index well over 100 degrees uh, already. And uh, day before yesterday was the hottest day this summer. And, um, but, I just kind of wanted you to kind of see, you know, I'm taking off of all of the, the factory non-skid with 40 grit and we're getting it down. I'm leaving kind of the borders where the factory non-skid was so I can go back and pretty much replicate the factory where the factory non-skid was. We'll change a couple little areas around the, um, the anchor windlass and some things like that. Um, but other than that, it, it'll stay pretty much close to the factory. Not sure if I'm gonna use Kiwi Grip or the Interlux um, kit. I don't like the silica because it ends up being very sharp and it pokes through after a time. So um, we'll kind of keep you up to date as I start painting and we'll get this in. Uh, like I said, it's very difficult to see with the blue tarp on the top of the boat. Um, we just went down to Harbor Freight and got a like a 19 by uh, 40 foot tarp um, so I could tarp the top of the catamaran just to keep the rain off of the decks and and actually I'm able to work when it and it's raining and it's cooler so uh, so that's where we're at 
and uh, we'll keep you guys up to date uh, as we go along. Um, hopefully in the next few weeks we'll start putting a little paint on the boat. We'll roll and tip it with the Alex seal and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it and uh, we'll get this prout back into shape and hopefully I can get back in the water and get back to sailing. So, all right, see you guys. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.